What's up guys, Houndish here, and today I wanted to talk about the raid coming in Destiny 2, the things we currently know, as well as the guided games or matchmaking system coming inside of Destiny 2. So let's start out by talking about the raid. Of course, at this stage, we know very little about the raid or how the story of Destiny 2 will really progress, but we have seen some footage and images which can tell us a few things about the raid at least. So this first clip has been a pretty big point of interest for the community. We get a shot of six guardians running down these stairs, and a lot of folks have spoken about the possibility that this is set in the tower. If you look at the top of the stairs, the architecture just looks somewhat similar to what you would see in a tower. It kind of reminds me of the archways on Bannerfall a little bit, so there is a resemblance to some degree right there. However, if you look underneath the arch in this image, you will see one of the mechanical cabal doors with the lighting strips on either side. And we've also seen these in other clips inside of cabal ships or buildings. So wherever it is, it has cabal fixtures and technology in place. The next clip tells us a little bit more though. So we see the guardians passing through this very dark, mysterious, almost cave or swamp-like space with lots of plant life, which looks pretty awesome. We see something pretty telling though, in my opinion, at the start of the clip. If we take a look, we can see the branch of this tree on the right-hand side. And this is a very relatable conifer-like tree, the exact same type that we see across the landscape of the European dead zone. I know this is probably a bizarre thing to point out, but you would not see this kind of plant life on Titan, Nessus, or Io, and for that reason, I personally believe that the raid will be set in the European dead zone as opposed to in the tower or on another planet or moon. Also, in this clip, we see a Cabal ship docked over Cabal structures and installations in what is almost certainly the European Dead Zone. We see those same trees across the landscape in the background, and so this demonstrates that the Cabal have a significant presence in the European Dead Zone already. This is possibly because of the remaining shard of the Traveller, which is located in this part of the world. Either way, I think there is a real likelihood that the raid will take place here, but we'll have to wait and see. The final image that we get of the raid shows six guardians running through this tunnel with some pretty dangerous looking fans right there. Again, the design is very typical of that cabal machinery and technology. In terms of gameplay, this looks like it'll be a lot of fun as well. But that is just about everything we really know about the raid for now. Like I said, I think it will be in the dead zone on Earth. Maybe the Cabal have been setting up base here for quite some time in preparation for the calculated attack on the Traveller and the city. The Cabal seem to know about the Traveller and its light, as well as the intelligence and the security of the city as well. They take down the satellites and the sensors around the wall. So while we often think of the Cabal as simply brutes with very minimal tact or intelligence, we're about to see what the Cabal are really capable of. Now let's talk a little bit about guided games in Destiny 2. This is a new matchmaking feature where solo players can connect with existing teams or groups to tackle the Nightfall, Raid or Trials-like content. This is going to be huge for solo or more casual players as it offers a very direct route of entry into the content. So say me and my clan are about to play the Raid but we only have four players, we can host a game that players who are searching can see and then request an invite for. This is a really cool feature because it gives folks the opportunity to get into a raid. You might find really friendly, great teams who can teach you or help you get through the raid for a first time, for example. You may even find yourself a clan that really suits you and has the kind of people that you want to play with and then go ahead and join that clan. Guided Games takes away the randomness of classic matchmaking, you know. Because of the clan system, you can get an idea of who you are joining. So if you are a less confident player, you may want a friendlier team who are prepared to help you out as opposed to you being thrown straight into a toxic group of players who ruin the experience. Of course, interacting with people on a random basis online will always mean that eventually you'll bump into douchebags, right? But at least with Guided Games, you have the opportunity to look for the right group for you. And that's one thing I think is really great about this particular particular system, and like I said, whether it's trials, nightfalls, or raids, whether you're new to raids or you're a veteran player who's cleared everything in the game, guided games will be really useful. I think it's a pretty genius answer to both the matchmaking issue, but also a great move for community in Destiny 2, and I can't wait to see more. So anyway, that is a summary of everything we know about the raid so far, as well as what we know about guided games coming in Destiny 2. So I hope you have found this video useful and interesting, guys. If you have, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. A like is always super appreciated. It really helps me out on the channel. If you're new around here, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to see a lot more Destiny 2 content. For now, though, thanks for watching and have an awesome day.